Hello, my name is Edikai Mary. I am the America's spiritual guide. I see, I reveal, and I create. How does it feel to be free? How does it feel for the first time in your life to have money in your pocket and have money put aside in reserve? How does it feel for you to have investments? How is it going to feel for you? It's, it's going to make me feel good. How are you going to feel when your marriage becomes a sweet dating instead of a struggling, poverty-ridden marriage? How are, how are you going to feel that you got the job that you've been waiting for all your life? How are you going to feel? Are you not going to feel good? Are you not going to feel good when suddenly you receive a good news that the house has changed hand? You now have a house, a four or five bedroom mansion that you can call your own bed of. How, how will it feel? How will it feel when you got a brand new car? And you were not expecting it. How is it going to feel when suddenly the sickness that has been destroying your body suddenly disappeared and left you? Are you not going to feel good? Are you not going to feel good that the poverty in your life became a party? Instead of you sitting in sadness, you are now enjoying a life of the big boys and the big girls. How does it feel to be free from debt? How does it feel? How does it feel for you to win your court cases? How does it feel? I, wouldn't you feel really excited and good? That's why I'm coming to Los Angeles. I am going to be in Los Angeles on April 20th till 22nd, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. 2021-22. I will be at Hilton Hotels by Los Angeles Airport. Hilton by Los Angeles Airport. I want you to go and register. There's a page for the Los Angeles Holy Ghost Fire one-on-one -on -one conference with me. Come and consult with me. Stop going to consult with all this other thing. It's not working for you. You've tried it. You've traveled all around the world to look for help. You've gone to Asia, to Africa, to India, to everywhere to hate. It's not working. I am the man that God is going to use to turn your life around and change your history. Try me and you will see it. Let me tell you a story. Somebody came to the business of one man and told that man, because they had a little quarrel, that he is going to make his business to come to an end. And the man thought that he was joking. The next day, something drastic happened to this man's business. He lost his business from just no way he couldn't, he didn't know how it happened. He lost his business. This man came to me and asked me to help him. He has gone to the witch doctors. He has traveled from America to Haiti to consult voodoo. He has gone to Benin Republic to consult witchcraft. It did not work. He has gone to India to consult the masters of the psychic arts. It did not work. And then suddenly he became sick. And somebody told him that there is a guy that he should consult. That guy is very powerful and awesome and very loving and kind, honorable and very gentle. He gave the man my phone number and my name. The man called me. I started laughing. When he called, he said, why are you laughing? I said, because I've already solved your problem. Go and send me a seed. And I told him the amount that I wanted. 
he did and he did the god of states did and the man did and his business was restored today that man has two stores instead of just one he has two and he's going to start the number two a girl came to me from one of the poorest countries of the world let me tell you what god did for that man he will do for you and what i did for him i'm gonna repeat it in los angeles for you come and see me come on come and see me a girl came to one of my conferences i told that girl you are going to become an owner of a taxi cab company she had no money she had nothing i released a thing into her life it's not a word i don't release words into people i release spirit and life into people so i'm not gonna lie to you that i just i talk to people and it it doesn't happen it doesn't work that way i release things into people she went back to her country and she started a taxi cab business today i think she has four or five taxi cab on the road for her and she's making money in fact i've started i've called her the other day and i told her to send me my tights i need a she has an accumulation of my tights and i need them as quickly as possible this is a girl from a third world country Another girl called me and she said, Daddy, I want you to give me a nice car to drive. I have some money, but it's not that big. I said, I'll give it to you. Within two days, I gave that girl a Jaguar. I asked her, what kind of, give me some names of your choice cars. She said, a Jaguar. I said, we'll go with a Jaguar. That's the first thing you said. The God has said you already go. And make sure you send me a seed as she did. That girl is driving a Jaguar. It's a girl. She's a young girl. She's driving a Jaguar. Hallelujah. There's another one that is driving one of the, um, what do we call it? Um, a BMW. It's another girl. She's, she's almost growing into a lady now. A BMW. See, let me tell you. Fantasy do come true. Story books do turn to be true after all what god did for them he will do it for you give me a call give me a call and let me know you are coming go to our website www.edikaimeri.com and register for the los angeles holy ghost fire go and register the reason is this God is going to pass over Los Angeles from the 20th. The glory is going to hang on your city from the 20th, 21st, and 22nd. The glory of God will be heavy and the power of God will manifest because you see, when the glory is heavy in a city, then the sky will be opened. And the power of God will fall. That's what is going to happen at Los Angeles. And, and, and let me also add here. For those of you who are coming to Virginia. For the um, planting of the church in Virginia on April the 8th. The glory of God is going to come upon, upon the East Coast on our behalf. Make sure you check out you check out all those and see which one you want to attend. But those of you in California, please get your luggage ready and come and camp either at the Hilton or in one of the hotels around there. I want to see people come in your drove. Come with your children. Come with your husband. Come with your wife. Come with your family members. Come with your friends. Come with your church people. Come and camp around the Los Angeles airport so that you can meet with me. If you see my face, that will be the end of your trouble. Your trouble will die when you see my face.